Hello, Brand Academy students. How you doing tonight? I hope you're having fun. I'm Dean Kirby. Uh, I had three children that graduated from Brand Academy, as you know, Chris, Tara, and Tina. And Chris and Tara graduated in 88, Tina in uh, uh, 1989. And uh, great memories of Brand Academy. Uh, I want to tell you all that I hope you're having fun. I hope that you're having great memories. Uh, some that may not be so great, but I'm sure most of them are. I want to tell you that uh, why we chose Brand Academy. It was real simple. Uh, our children had gone to daycare. We lived in Brandon. They had gone to daycare in Brandon. They got to know a lot of you, found out a lot of you going to Brandon Academy. Uh, Gene and I talked about it at the time. We thought that a small Christian school atmosphere would be best for our children, and that's what we did. Uh, never have looked back. Never, ever have regretted it. I want to tell you that you had some great teachers there that we totally trusted and had confidence in. Uh, I, I was very uh, fortunate, very, very fortunate to be able to serve on the board with some great people like Billy Orr and Billy Fox Willie, uh, Wayman Tiger and Dr. Petey. Uh, I mean, those were all really great guys that really loved each and every one of you and, and wanted to do the best they could for you. We had, uh, like I say, the great teachers. Uh, to this day, my children talk about Miss Dean and how much they love Miss Dean. She was a, a sweetheart and I'm sure still is today. And uh, of course, Coach Jones, Bobby Jones, his wife Nelda, what a wonderful group, I mean, wonderful couple, uh, great people, great coach, great headmaster. Uh, Miss Jones helped keep all of you guys in line, uh, which all of you pretty much needed uh, <laughs> at times. Uh, believe me, uh, uh, I can't tell those stories. I don't have enough time. But uh, I remember <clears throat> Gene hanging out with Rosemary Mara. Uh, I remember all of the parents of football games after the game or before the game. Bobby Jones wouldn't let some of the football players leave because he's afraid they'd be late for the game uh, that night. So you had to stay there uh, on Fridays uh, until game time and how all the parents would prepare huge pots of spaghetti and banana pudding and all those great things that you guys got to enjoy. Um, it, it was a great experience and the parents got to know each other even better. Uh, I remember real quickly here, some great memories, things like uh, uh, last second wins in football, last uh, inning runs in baseball, the basketball teams that were so good. Uh, I remember the, the tower, twin towers on the, in the 88 team. Uh, and I remember how they played a team, uh, East Holmes Academy, and brought, blocked their first 11 shots. Uh, and I remember the tremendous dunks. I remember Barry Jamison and Scott Rhodes and Cliff Thomas and Ricky Faber and Carl, not Carl. Uh, well, well, I think maybe it was Carl. Yeah, it was Carl, Carl Young uh, on that basketball team that went to the overall beat actually beat uh, Indianola that was like 40 and 0 the first game and Barry Jameson jumping over a boy to make a dunk. That was unbelievable. Uh, going all the way to the finals and barely losing in the finals to Park Lane. That was a great team, great uh, for the school, great for Rankin County. And I remember all of that stuff. Uh, I remember how uh, uh, the teachers would be real involved. I remember the pep rallies, the wonderful pep rallies that you guys had. All of that brought us all closer together, and we all were family then, and we're pretty much family today. Uh, I hope that you're having fun tonight. I hope that, uh, that you guys continue to stay out of trouble, and remember that each of those parents loved you then, and they love you today. Have fun, good luck, and see you in the future, I hope.